the time of piloting in Africa is over. Africa will add value to all its staple crops. All. There's no space for failure. Agribusiness will attract massively the youth. Africa will be the food basket for the world. If you want to succeed in business, plan to fail. The African Agribusiness Incubator Network, AIN, supported by Forum for Agricultural Research in Africa, FARA, organized the first African Agribusiness Incubation Conference and Expo on 28th to 30th September 2015 in Nairobi, Kenya, to create awareness on opportunities in agribusiness incubation and related sectors for startups, SMEs, and other established ventures. The goal of this conference is to catalyze job and wealth creation, food security and poverty reduction in Africa. We want to transform Africa through incubation. For FARA, this conference is an important milestone in our long journey to ensure that research translates into tangible benefits for African farmers and consumers. The conference targets to bring together agro value chain actors across Africa to share experience, showcase their products and innovations, network and forge new partnerships, and change the perception of agriculture. More than 400 delegates from around the world participated in the conference whose theme was Catalyzing Sustainable Transformation of Africa's Agriculture through Agribusiness Incubation towards job and wealth creation, food security, and poverty reduction. If you look at the sustainable development goals now that are going to drive our agenda globally, there is one particular sector which they call industry, innovation, and infrastructure. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what incubation offers. Creating the necessary infrastructure, the necessary innovation to offer opportunities across the continent and across the ground. Whether you are talking about ending poverty, about uh, eliminating hunger or zero hunger, about good health, gender and equality, about inclusive economic growth, or looking at industry and innovation, the agribusiness will be really the, the engine that will drive the contribution of agriculture to the SDGs. Among the delegates were existing agribusiness incubators, innovators, universities, startups, SMEs, educationists, government agencies, non governmental and sub regional organizations, policy makers, and investors in Africa. Africa has a huge landmass of arable land, yet she spends billions of dollars every year to import cranes. The rising global demand for food is an opportunity for us all that are here and others that are outside here. Africa can depend on agriculture and agriculture can feed Africa, finance the growth and become part of the global solution for food security. But strategic interventions are required that are market-led. Opportunities of regional growth regional development, the regional value chains. What is in it for the East African community? What is in it for Comesa? What is in it for ECOWAS? We must start looking at the, the opportunities that are emerging. The ICT presents a great potential across the continent. This opportunity on the table will um, a continent with 54 different countries and 154 universities and more than 60% of arable land um, unutilized. Secondly, there's a tested model in terms of an indigenously developed incubator model that you need globally. On average, agriculture contributes 34% to national GDP and accounts for about 33% of the reported economic growth in African countries, according to a UNDP report of 2012. However, 
in order to achieve a sustainable transformation of Africa's agriculture, the private sector must be mobilized to share and upscale innovative agribusiness outputs, experiences and best practices for value chain investment through agribusiness incubation. Agriculture in Africa and in Kenya remains the main source of income and livelihood therefore. Unfortunately, Africa is a net importer of food. A new perspective needs to be embraced by all the actors, from the producers, the researchers, the extension service providers, educators, training providers, policy makers, and here, very important, our youth. Let's get researchers in the public sector working with the private sector entrepreneurs. Let's get civil society working with the farmer groups. Let's let people break down these barriers between these silos that stop us progressing. As a process of nurturing startups, agribusiness incubation has emerged as a critical tool that can be used to create competitive agribusinesses in Africa with the potential to accelerate the development of the continent's agricultural sector. It creates an environment where new enterprises are nurtured and allowed to flourish through serving, value addition and market linkages. There's usually a challenge in growth when demand is too high and the supply is low. There are challenges that come in a lot of confusion, but they have taught us on how to overcome it. And I've also been able to meet successful business people who have guided us on some of the issues that come in with business. 90% of the startups do not make it. The attrition rate is too high. So business incubation is designed to mitigate these chances these odds that tend to frustrate the growth of business incubation from building the idea into the market. Agribusiness incubation is a mechanism that can change, a mechanism that can propel development uh, at a faster rate than the traditional uh, capacity building programs that have been happening over years. Agribusiness, it is the only sector that provides a direct connection between the financing mechanism, the holding enterprises, the value addition institutions, and at the same time the service provider. In 2010, Farah and its partners launched Unibrain, a unique agribusiness initiative by the African Commission, supported by the government of Denmark to strengthen the linkage between universities research organizations and the private agribusiness sector in Africa. Unibrain is an acronym of universities, businesses and research in agricultural innovation. It actually provides um, a platform to bring all the ACEs from the universities, from the research institutions and from the business world. So the output is that we must have a commercialized agribusiness innovation. We are collaborating people who produce the manpower, the universities, people who produce research and technology, the research institutes, and the people who produce the product that we put on the table, those are the businesses. Every member of that group has its own value that it adds into that uh, arrangement system of business. Unibrain is about universities. What actually this lean approach does and brings to business is actually the application of the scientific method. The lean method is a business model, it has three steps, business model design, customer development, and then agile engineering. Universities are education institutions and they are producing professionals in different areas, one of which are agriculture agronomists and uh, related uh, disciplines. Therefore, uh, they are involved in the production of uh, human resources for the agriculture industry. But apart from that, not only are they involved in training, they are also involved in creating knowledge. And some of the knowledge they create is created through research and of course also through outreach. It is research that ensures that new technologies can be converted into commercial uh, enterprises and uh, become businesses. Uh, for that reason, there's a very uh, big link between incubation and uh, research. 
the research developed at the university and research institutions trickle down to the incubator for commercialization. Six agribusiness incubators under the FARA Unibrain model have been established in Ghana, Mali, Zambia, Kenya and Uganda. This is a model that we've tested in six countries and is now showing the way in terms of um, creating agribusinesses. In fact, it is contributing to the new agribusiness strategy that the Africa Union has put forward and is going to be presented to the heads of state. The Unibrain model provides that we work in a system where the incentives are shared along the value chain. And therefore, each actor within the value chain gets something along the value chain. And that's what we call the WIFM. What is in it for me? The program's 2015 scorecard, as released by FARA, indicates that over 75 agribusiness technologies have been commercialized, over 10,500 jobs have been created, over 23,500 livelihoods supported, over 158 universities have been engaged, over 140 startup incubators supported, over 900 students have been taken through internship and industrial attachment, over $9.5 million income has been generated, and an African agribusiness incubator network, AIN, has been established with over 80 members already. Just graduated this year, and uh, I happened to be taken as a student intern at Sorghum Value Chain Development Consortium. I discovered there is a lot of value chain addition in Sorghum. So my idea was to make wine from Sorghum. I am a startup. I, I just started less than four months. So I am happy to report that now it's no longer an idea. I cooperated and now I, I have made Bonster Wineries, which is from Sorghum. We need to expose our students to all the different aspects of the facets of agriculture in its multidisciplinary nature. We are happy that this has really set the ground and universities are now uh, fully aware that of the need to work with private sector if they really want to, to uh, attract more students who will now be creating jobs, creating their own enterprises. To promote the long-term sustainability of the FARA Unibrain model in Africa, an autonomous African agribusiness incubator network has been established whose vision is to be the hub of African agribusiness innovation with various objectives, namely to facilitate the establishment and growth of sustainable agribusiness incubators, to exchange information, best practices and lessons learned, to facilitate innovative agribusiness financing investment and to strengthen the capacity of its members to deliver agribusiness incubation. AAIN, it is an umbrella body for agribusiness incubators in Africa. AAIN provides a network and advocacy platform to encourage agripreneurship and innovation in agriculture. We saw the need to start this um, unique platform of Unibrain to commercialize, to get a partnership and conversation going. We see that under this visionary leadership, African Agriculture Incubation Network was born. The key role of this aim, the African Agribusiness Incubator, will be to continue incubating incubators and we look forward that in the next five years we should be able to meet a target of 108 African incubators across the continent with an average of two incubators per country. As part of its objectives, other innovative business incubation models such as the Africa Agribusiness Academy that stimulates entrepreneurship to increase food security in Africa has also been incorporated in the program. During the conference, various sessions were held which provided delegates with networking opportunities to learn about emerging trends in agribusiness and also exchange knowledge and experiences relating to agribusiness. When you're starting a new business, you have no facts. Plan to fail. You're sure you're going to fail. Plan to catch it.
get out of the building, talk to customers, make the assumptions explicit, and then start with the minimum value product. So many people start, they add this, they change the color, they design. Start with the small, and then you pivot to more promising pathways. We are the second largest food exporter, but that does not mean that we produce it. We are a very small producer. We are strong in our agro-logistics and in value addition. And that is where you need a lot of science. Inchbetas of research results need to be equipped with development studies and basically financial savings. Universities need to invest in a robust research and development at commercialization link with the basis of research and development. You'd be surprised if you review some of the universities and research institutions, if you look at the curricula, uh, some of them are outdated for quite some time. They are teaching something very practical uh, for the excellence of science, but it's very difficult to take the output from these uh, research institutions uh, and link them into uh, an entrepreneur uh, kind of world. The level of awareness of intellectual properties in Africa is very low and uh, for that reason there are uh, many many innovations that are not commercialized because people don't know that uh, uh, they can protect those and commercialize them. People in the meeting were surprised that they don't know even from their countries that there are some opportunities. So uh, the side event was an opportunity to inform them that before even going at a global level looking for uh, external funding, they have maybe to exhaust the national mechanisms. Startups from various African countries were also given the opportunity to pitch their innovative ideas to respective agribusiness communities who were in attendance. Right now I'm in fourth year and I'm doing Bachelor of Science in Food Processing Technology. I just finished my final exams in April. So I'm out in the field for just three months. I do banana juice processing. I use heat as a source of energy and extract out the product. All the total sales in a month. It was 600 USD. I had around three employees. Now I have 15 workers. The unique matchmaking B2B meetings also gave participants an opportunity to seal deals and meet startups and potential investors. If you are going to try and look for a business partner, there's always a need to do the background check. You want to understand what they are doing, what they are offering, what they are interested in. Because you might be telling them a story when you, which you are very convinced about, but that story is not in any way interesting within their business strategy. From the B2B uh, side events, uh, as an incubator, as Adbit, we are able to create linkages. Uh, one of the linkages that uh, is still at the uh, initial stage is linkages to possible financing, possible funding. Uh, secondly, uh, during the B2B as an incubator, as Adbit, we are able to interact with the startups. Running parallel to the conference was a marketplace or exhibition which was opened by the guest of honor representing the cabinet secretary of industrialization and enterprise development who is also Kenya's permanent secretary for agriculture, Honorable Sicily Karaoke. Statistics from the FAO indicate that about 240 million Africans are undernourished, implying they do not have enough food to eat in terms of the quantity and the times and the quality that they, that they need to. This is unacceptable for a continent so well endowed with resources for food production, with most parts experiencing upwards or close to 12 months of sunlight in a year. Some of the innovation being discussed and exhibited in this event will play a major role to revert this situation and ensure Africa once and for all becomes food secure. The exhibition gave delegates an opportunity to display their innovative ideas and products as a way of promoting agribusiness and creating brand identity while facilitating market access. Uh, let me go and try. <laughs> yeah. The AIN conference and exhibition has been a very good opportunity. We've networked with uh, several other organizations that are interested in the technology that we do. 
uh, and hopefully from there we're going to build something bigger. Through this um, conference and exhibition program, uh, we have been able to get an engineering firm based in UK who will be able to help us to solve the issue of uh, setting up a cottage level canning line process in Nigeria. With what Unibrain is doing uh, here um, that I've learned in this conference in Kenya, agribusiness incubation is it. But with what we've seen guys here in Uganda, in Kenya, in, uh, in Ghana doing, this is amazing. See how, how young people in their 20s have owned their own organization, owned their own companies, and they are uh, solving the food needs of their community. They're giving them their own drink, giving them their own food, value added, value chains, everything happening here through agribusiness incubation with what Unibrain is doing. And I tell you, if it continues like this all around Africa, Africa will be the food basket for the world. With a consortium of six successive agribusiness incubators already established across the African continent under the Farah Unibrain model, AIN aims to establish more business incubators in Africa who are committed to turning agribusiness innovation into high growth businesses, producing graduates fit to be agribusiness leaders and innovators, sharing and upscaling innovative outputs, experiences and practices. The key role of this aim, the African Agribusiness Incubator, will be to continue incubating incubators and we look forward that in the next five years we should be able to meet a target of 108 African incubators across the continent with an average of two incubators per country. This will help release the potential of Africa's youth in driving the growth of agriculture, Africa's predominant industry and greatest employer. The percentage of population of those that are less than 15 years of age is highest on our continent. And the continent's population will be roughly 2 billion by 2050. But well, then the challenges are, how do we manage this quantum of guests? You have to feed them, to keep them employed, keep them happy, and that's a job for us to do. We have also heard about uh, the Malabo Declaration, uh, which was uh, made last year, and the seven commitments which are contained in that declaration. Ending hunger, tripling intra-African trade in agricultural goods and services, reducing poverty by half by 2025, and importantly, the declaration highlights the, the key issue of inclusivity, inclusion for women, inclusion for the youth. And therefore, again, it shows the linkages with our topic, agribusiness incubation, and how that can be used to enhance inclusion of the youth in competitive agricultural value chains. Empowering youth to engage in agribusiness increases employment opportunities and stimulates the rural economies. The bank, through its agricultural sector strategy, places highest priority on food security and poverty reduction through agricultural transformation. The program of Enable Youth will upscale tested models of youth employment in agriculture and agribusiness value chains. The goals and activities of Enable Youth directly contribute towards the achievements of the CADEP, MDGs and SDGs in areas of food security, hunger, gender mainstreaming and employment creation. According to a World Bank report of March 2014, African farmers and agribusinesses could create a trillion dollar food market by 2030 if they can expand their access to capital, electricity, better technology and irrigated land to grow high value nutritious foods. However, for all this to be realized, policies must be steered towards innovative institutional arrangements including fostering appropriate partnership among public, private, and civil society organizations. Most of the ministries lack capacity to implement even the programs that they have already, the government have uh, developed. They lack initiatives and therefore there is need 
to continue to build the capacity of these implementers to even understand the policy that has been formulated. We find there's so much mismatch in the national agriculture policies and also it's worse from one country to another, yet they belong to the same economic uh, blocks. There are specificities across countries. We have the necessary um, platforms and structures and of course the policy frameworks at the national level to support agribusinesses in these countries. The private sector helps the universities to come up with curricula, with tailor-made training programs that speak to the gaps within the African capacity. And therefore, the mismatch between the African universities, the mismatch between African universities' research and private sector is now narrowed down. Universities are becoming more relevant to private sector, which in the future we hope will bring in more investment from private sector to the university research and activities. During the conference, agribusiness challenges were highlighted too and the way forward. As a startup, you go to the bank to ask for collateral. Uh, probably you only have arguments, say, you're starting with a capital of a thousand dollars, and the money you want is probably four thousand dollars. Now, the collateral they ask for normally is land or a house. You're barely uh, struggling to keep ends meet, and you're being asked for huge collateral. Where are you going to get it from? It's always it's been a challenge to, to ourselves, and I'm sure it is to other startups. Now, the enabling you is focused on contributing to property reduction, wealth creation, and enhanced food security through interventions on best bet enterprises with high returns, capable of arousing and holding the interests of the youth and women in agriculture and agribusinesses. The bank will prioritize agriculture and food security for the regional member countries. This will excite the youth to see agriculture as a viable business. Africa will add value to all its staple crops, all. In the implementation phase of CADAP, there is a clear distinction between implementation support and implementation. So what we are talking about here is providing a framework that creates support to the countries as they prepare to implement the CADAP. The science agenda postulates that by 2030, Africa ensures its food and nutrition security, that it becomes a recognized global scientific player in agriculture and food systems, and that it becomes the world's breadbasket. Startups who had pitched their innovative agribusiness ideas earlier on and the best incubators were awarded in a ceremonial evening dinner that saw all players coming together to celebrate the far they have come as the future looks bright too. Wow, wow, excellent. The conference ended with an eight action point declaration signed by over 200 delegates as a call for and a commitment within the context of the comprehensive Africa Agriculture Development Program, CADAP. Malabo Declaration, the Science Agenda for Agriculture in Africa, S3A, and the Science, Technology and Innovation Strategy for Africa. The conference, I think, has been wonderful. It's a great platform. Uh, this is the first one, and already we are seeing signs of uh, a platform that is going to make a difference when it comes to agribusiness in, in Africa and, and when it comes to moving the transformative agenda forward. So the link between uh, research and uh, the starting up in SMEs has been very weak. So strengthening that uh, linkage is one of the great achievements that have happened and uh, therefore a big contribution by the conference to the concept of incubation. In, we'll connect the African incubators with the global agribusiness incubators, both in India and Europe, and that will add value in terms of knowledge enhancement, in terms of uh, practical business development, but at the same time forging strategic partnerships to grow businesses.